Pam. Hold on. I record. I I have that on like sixty percent of my life anyway. Really? Yeah, I just love recording everything. A lot of times. I had one too when I was younger because I learned um, better auditory. I'm an auditory learner. Really? I'm a visual. Yep. I'm kind of a I'm kind of a mix. Um. Also, I do this all the time. I pull this in. Yeah. And that's not cool. like gross stuff. It's literally sawdust from when I was not, not <laughs> working on this. Yeah, not smegma. <laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. I, lo I love the job because just the personalities it brings. Yeah. But it's also like, but I'm your babysitter. In so a it's sense. it's like not yeah. like super fun. It's fun for you to get like out of control and say funny stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, well, if you get in the car though and kill someone, I can be held accountable. So can you? Like, As a yeah, bartender, you can, can be held accountable? Mm -hmm. Are I you mean, like there? Someone, do you have to say something? Do you have to refuse in certain yeah. cases? Really? Yeah, like cutting someone off. Like I, I can refuse you service. I don't have to give you another drink. But that shouldn't be on you. Oh, uh, I know. That's to a certain degree. Yeah. But man, it's kind of like, hey, you're on your, you're your own adult. If you get yeah. drunk at a bar, and I give you beers, and you get in the car and drive drunk and kill someone, I can, I can be charged for the person that died that they hit because I served them. I really don't feel like this. How, how is that? I don't know. So it's a whole nother stress that I've been dealing how with. How could they even prove that you didn't try to stop them? Yeah. No, and, and other times, basically what you have to do is I have to follow you out to your car and be like, hey, I don't want you to drive. If you drive, you're going to get in trouble. And then as soon as they leave, I have to call the cops. And being like this How person left, have to and do I that? I've done it five or six times. It must make it really tense. Years. Yeah. Oh yeah. I because mean, they're drunk anyway, so. Because, but if someone's walking down the street and they hit them, like, and am I gonna get charged for murder? And not, not really. Do you worry about that a lot? Yeah. Oh, uh, all the time. Cause like people, you're just gonna get called in the middle of the night and someone, yeah. So I served someone and they killed someone, and now I have to worry about going to jail or paying a. $10, I don't think they would jail you. I don't see how that's ten thousand dollar fine for over serving someone, or they could sue me for not cutting them off and still serving them. Blah blah blah. I just don't see how that's even possible. That's, kind of silly. that's terrible. I just put this table up today. And it's kind of cool. I love I love this I'm table. I'm putting in like a big carpet under it. And it's like got having, such a nice finish to it. It's yeah. Really... And, well, I need to redo it because like certain parts you can feel how it's really smooth, and then certain parts feel really rough. But, just I, the is... but that's part of what I like about it, I think. Yeah. It just feels very... I don't know. I like it, though. Cool. Yeah. I just... This is a nice setup in here. Yeah, I just... Very simple, well, I just very wanna... comfortable. But do you know what I'm saying as, as far as personalizing it? Yeah. Oh, and I definitely know. Like, the Man, empty it sucks when I went to and... Texas and just... I never... I lived there for about six months and never did anything to the walls and that hurt so bad. Just not being able to put up my posters because of tacks and holes in the wall, yeah, and crap like that. And I was I was engaged to a minimalist, so she just mm. wanted everything really bare, really and like neat and clean all the time. Like a minimalist <laughs> modernist, so <laughs> and she very environmental and yeah, yeah. So that was a little bit difficult. I can see that. On top of other existing difficulties with her, but that's over. Ugh. Yeah. Man. I'm still trying to get over that, though. That sucked. That's a lot, though. You're not, you're not engaged, too. No. That's okay. Yeah. What do you think no. about that? Um, I think it could happen, you know, eventually. Yeah. Like... Even even slightly soon, like within the next year, because it'll be just like. Where did the cat go? Compromingo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Compromingo. Compromingo. Do you like the table, Mango? Beer. He's an alcoholic too. <laughs> you want some beer, Mango? Put it in your water bowl again. Again. She's so chill though, like, 
Honestly, we got like the nicest, chillest cat ever. Like you can pick her up, throw her around, throw her, pet her, yeah, like do whatever, and she's like perfectly fine. Perfect. Good. You need to learn right now not to be on the table. <laughs> no table for you, Mingo. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me a lot of my uncle. Really? Yeah, he's really funny. Um, your sense of humor is just a lot like his. Mine is kind of borderline that way too, but he's a, he's more constant, whereas I'm more like. Yeah, which yeah. is fun too, though, and and I feel like that's like. Um, that's like me when I work is like I like very like you time it a little bit more or and just time it and yeah. then ridiculous and then get laughs out of everyone and then like oh this is great and then I'm like oh I don't want to be here like back to the making tickets and yeah. fucking pouring beers and then and then ah I'm like <laughs> like like humor and and yeah. whatever like but the the thing is like it's just so easy to like, what. Like, to funny. make people laugh and be yeah. funny. Like, it's very... Take this general thing and just make light of it. Or take this... Even if it's not... has nothing some... to do with other people. Just being funny, even if you're alone by yourself. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have a few basic questions on Comprachicos. But I want to start with the basis that... Um, I still have a time constraint. Yeah, okay, that's totally understood. So, I, I don't want anything to be like, if you do give me stuff to read and I and I don't get to it, mm -hmm. I don't want you to, like, I, I just want to be perfectly honest throughout all this mm -hmm. and say, like, I'm sorry, but no, no, if I know. I'm a little selfish one day and want to just... Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not like gonna demand all your free days or just that makes sure, yeah. Like even the few times you said yeah, I've only read this, but then I slept. I'm like, I'm like it's not an obligation. I mean, I, I'm already very happy with what you're doing because. Um, but it's I mean, fun. you can just it's it's I, supposed I to be fun. I do you know, care do about it though, but yeah. I, I'm sure you see how I am like kind of worked a lot. Yeah. But but Definitely. I but I still feel like I can say like that I have like worked a lot and still been super interested in yeah i'm surprised that you've things. read into it in as much as you have considering your work schedule so i'm very pleasantly surprised yeah. about that Be um, because I, I, but i'm I not to the point where wanna... i'll expect that every week though yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like that so i i don't want i don't want ever want you to feel that like, I'm like don't give a shit about it or don't don't want to do it and it's like oh yeah i read it this week i promise and then yeah. it's like well do you have any questions and it's like oh wait i didn't really read it just doing that but don't you ever feel like that like i'm very interested mm -hmm. in all the aspects of it yeah um but i am somewhat like time constrained to where i need um definitely especially I, now yeah yeah but at the same time i like, got it I think it's um, I think it's super cool, and like I really really like it. I'm very interested in it. And yeah, so I wasn't even expecting to move this fast. So yeah. this is all just. But yeah, I mean, you set the pace. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, even if you have like a month or so where you just can't, don't have much time to do anything. Once, just knowing that you're involved in it with it in some way encourages me to keep on moving because mm -hmm. that's just I just want to work with people and I've always wanted to and when when Doug bailed on me I was just like wow I have this whole schematic here for this enterprise and I have no no I just don't feel like doing it anymore yeah. it, there's just like no incentive because it was supposed to be a it's a bonding thing too in a way it's it's there's some I've always wanted to people find this funny because I'm known for my my hermetic introverted only ever working with myself but more than anything I've always wanted to be a part of a greater entity a team and that was actually part of why I was isolated for so long because I wanted to make sure that I had enough that I could contribute and so I think people are weirded out at how much I want to work with others yeah. but, but that's been a part of me all along where it's like even those people that you've known for a long time where they're like no he's he's a 
at home guy, like did mm-hmm. all this from home, blah blah. Like he doesn't work with people, and it's mm-hmm. like, it's like no, I can't. I would if I could. I, yeah. I, I I perfectly could, and I could be great at it. It's just a lack of opportunities, or especially the psychology background and stuff. Mm-hmm. And sorry if I interrupt. Oh no, no, I do like, it too. <laughs> I'm kind of bad at that. Like I'm real bad because I'm used to being at bars and people talking to me <coughs> and where yeah. I should interrupt and like. I don't even notice it to be honest. Okay. So yeah. Because I I have to mention that with people outside because outside the conversations the bar. <laughs> and, and I'll start getting loud because I'm used to yelling in a bar and stuff yeah. and I'm used to like being very like. Um, explicit and like pronouncing and stuff because okay. I'm used to talking to drunk people. Yeah. <laughs> Which is unfortunate kind of, but it just comes with comes with the territory and it's like By explicit you mean like articulative. Yeah. Okay. You have to leave. <laughs> like explicit, <laughs> like like explicit and articulate and being the Very smart pr- yeah. hey by the way I'm sober I'm talking like I'm sober so you have to leave and that sucks because you've had a little too much to drink so I can call you an Uber if you'd like or you can have a taxi and people are like uh, don't smooth <laughs> I'm like okay that's cool I'm gonna get you an Uber uh, when you do that who pays for the Uber the company sometimes have you ever well, had to pay for it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes really? it's friends. Sometimes it's friends that come oh. out, and I'm like, dude, do not drive. And I'll literally take their keys yeah. and be like, you're staying here. And I guess you, you know them better to where you're a little bit more keeping your eye on them. But also that friends that like to get fucked up. Uh-huh. I have a lot of acquaintances in my life. And by acquaintance, I mean people that I know. But aren't friends. But I'm, I'm not friends We with don't you. really know much about but you. But I still care about you than getting into a car and killing someone else. Yeah. Or killing yourself. Yeah. It's like a weird thing. Um, bartending is like serving with a lot more risks and reward. So bartending, like, I make more money. I make like 50 grand a year. Wow. Yeah. 50 to 60. And it can even go up. For being a compadrinko. Compadrinko. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's also interesting perspective, though. It's it's also a shitty, um, a shitty job. I don't like it. I'm not right. gonna do it forever. What would you um, prefer to do? If you right like? now, I thought about um, oh, what what I prefer to do is music and art, like Copper Chicos. Yeah, music Whole and time. art. Like I love music. I'm like very bad at playing music. Besides you drums. Think so? Besides drums, I'm, I would couldn't, and I think I'm very judgmental on myself, but, um, as far as drums, if I were to start practicing again, I'm... Did you do double bass? Yes. I'm very dexterous. I am extremely... (laughs) Yeah. No, I'm extremely, um, (coughs) dexterous. I'm very good with movements. Like, I played sports. I did Good hand-eye coordination. I I can juggle. I can, Oh, I suck at that so badly. I can juggle, I can yo-yo, like, I can do all those things, like, Yeah, easily. you used to yo-yo, like, at church, I could, didn't you? I could go grab one and show you. <laughs> I think I remember you doing that at church. Mm-hmm. Did you do hacky sack kind of stuff, too? Or no? I didn't, um... I Wait, didn't... you and one of your brothers did yo-yo on a talent show, didn't you? Was that a church? At the camp. Did you yo-yo yes, with did. You yep, one yep, your brothers? Yep, I did. That was when I first with got Matt? into it. Yep, it was Matt. Yeah, I remember that. Trying some music and you guys are all yelling. Boom, boom, boom. And everyone's like super excited. And I was like, and then I look back and I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look back on it. I'm like, I'm a fucking dork. <laughs> like, everyone's going to remember me as that one yo yo kid. Like, that was like weird and like dumb and, and stuff. there's Jeff with his white tornado. Mm-hmm. That was good. I love the p- I thought they were so nice. Not necessarily nice. the dad, yeah. but the... Joe, oh man, he was in my dream last... Wow, I had a weird dream last night. Yeah. I got in this big spat with the church, and I was just... I was going to try to reveal the church for what it was. And so there was like... I was going to show it 
show everyone how much it degraded the humanity of you know I was just really it was really intense I do remember but it was really dark too I feel like he's gonna die soon he's very old I feel like he's gonna die like very soon do you get premonitions like that and it usually comes mm -hmm. to fruition yeah I do too unfortunately sometimes I don't like it yeah sometimes it's like kind of like I don't really want to think about things like that but like names and people bring it up and I'm like oh they're like two years out yeah. from when I was uh, when I was a little kid like one year one year old maybe younger um, my great grandma I was I was lying in my crib one day looking up at the ceiling and my mom remembers I was just laughing and pointing and I was just I remember the, my great grandmother was floating against the ceiling like her back to it just kind of floating and I just remember laughing and pointing I just like it's the grandma up there and I was just like maybe not even one and I didn't I didn't was understand she still alive she had died that day and I did not understand the concept of death so they wouldn't have told me what happened and that was always kind of spooky to them it, when, when they heard when that I was is saying spooky. that. Yeah. Like, that's like, what is that? Because, like, I mean, a lot of like, stuff happened you know, like that to me growing well, up. I mean, it just furthers, furthers your ideal because, like, in a Christian yeah. mindset, they went to heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. They're no longer on this earth. Mm -hmm. So, what is it that. What is that? Yeah. Is, is that all your family or around you at the time thinking about her and bringing her into fruition and her being like a thought form a, yeah is it that or is it christian or was it her or or was it her or was it the christian mindset like no that can't be her because was she's in like a heaven. demon she's in heaven or hell like is yeah. that a demon yeah. fucking with you is it this is it your thought form is it this like it is interesting to think about that's why yeah. that's why like I've always taken all these things that have happened to me and having and and had an open mindset about it like being like yeah look at all these like is this psychology projects. is this spiritual like, I, is I, this, I can yeah. look at it through psychology I can look at it through demons and angels I can look at it through Christianity I can look at it through the occult but I agree with that even though I do but have it my, my preference regardless. my main yeah. yeah yeah you know what's your main Oh, right, like, right you, now, I, I agree with you. Like in a psychological, symbolic mm -hmm. manner? I think it's thought forms. And like and I've said, like that, that doesn't mean it's not powerful. That doesn't mean it's not to, real either. To be perfectly honest, like I've just come along to that with you giving me definitions and really? things to your own experience. And it just because resonated? For, for the longest time, like I was, yeah, no, it resonated like yeah. greatly. That's great to hear. Greatly. No, to to a degree where I have, um, it's even brought me out of a little bit of depression. Really? Yes. Wow. Be because for depression a of end, not for feeling like you could understand your own experiences. Yes. And f no, I understand what that's like, and you're kind of ashamed to associate with your own like experiences. I, I don't know where to even go. Like I don't know. Or what I, to call yourself. Or who do I talk to? Yeah. Or how do I explain it? Or I've experienced yeah. I've experienced all this, but. I don't have a name for it. And then you look out into the world and all the spiritualists are these hokey swimmers yeah, and, and then like, the scientists are jerks who just think that and nothing's and, real. And so, so what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Dig so, into the underground. Yeah. It's down there. Is that what you were trying to do? A fist bump. Okay. <laughs> when, when the hand my comes plant's out. My dying. Look at my poor spider plant. What? Oh, on the it just bridge? moved a little bit. Yeah. That was creepy. I saw it happening in that little, that okay, little so yellow I, ball. Okay, so I have here. this one friend that I talked to you about. I, I talked to him about you, but Joe. Joe. I think I mentioned him before. Was he the nerd very, one? Very, very good friend of mine. He used to live with. He's the one that wants to be a shaman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the anime fan? I mentioned him. But just, just then, right now, like, moving the plant, it's just the air conditioning. Yeah. But me and him, I've talked to him about everything. He knows yeah. everything I've ever. So you still talk to him? About. Then, huh? Yes, okay. we were together. 
Oh, uh, at, even still. Really? Yep. Where is he working? No, he no. works in the kitchen. Works okay. Works Caleb and, like, works in the kitchen. You know? Okay, so I'll probably meet him one of these days. Yeah, not... very soon. He plays Magic, too. Dude. He's super Magic. Do you think I'd like him? Yeah. Yeah? He's so cool. He's so nice and chill and, like, whatever. But is he is he creative, too? Um, to a certain degree. Yeah? So do you he don't think Tom a... Chico is not that kind of person? You know what? I'm not sure because, um... He is extremely good with computers. Yeah, and we don't need a bunch of artists. I mean, we need people of every type. The tricksters, the magicians, the the businessmen, the so artists. So the thing is, like, I've always gone along with him, but, but he, like, builds computers and, like... Yeah. Like, programming like a hacker? A computer. No, not Not a hacker? No. Not that much. I read it yeah, I read the other night that you need one hacker. Oh, on one and of the texts? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I was like, I don't even... Like, I have never trusted any of the hackers I've met. Really? I was like, oh, Please yeah. don't hack me. Yeah. I know what you mean. But both my little brothers could hack, but they wouldn't. Because they're like... Oh, uh, they're little white hats. <laughs> they'd hack and they'd feel bad and they'd, they'd send an email saying sorry. <laughs> I don't know if necessarily that, but they just like, um, are very naive and very naive in certain things. In their mindset right now. Like goody goody. Really smart though. Huh? Are they like goody goody? Kind of. I think they're figuring, them, figuring themselves out. Do you feel like they're so much younger than you in a lot of ways? Yeah. Yeah? Very much like so. Like still under your parents' wings? Mm hmm. Hmm. And they're only, they're not that much younger than you though. I mean, Matt would be like 26. Mm hmm. Play, like you can yeah. say hey Google but you can also um, kind of like what I did for my phone yeah hey Google how are you doing <laughs> sure I'm doing great thanks for asking what can I help you with it does that <laughs> hey Google what does a whale sound like this is a whale that's like a whale doing <laughs> I love Will. Will cries. Hey Google, play my playlist Sonder. Alright, here's your Spotify playlist called Sonder. It should be, um... Yeah. So you like yeah. my playlist? Oh, I'm, I've listened to all of it. And all I've the struggled. playlists are just... Oh, I've listened to almost all of them. Um... Yeah, I love, no, I love music, and I struggle with finding time to sit down and find meaning, meaningful, good artists for me and stuff, but I like, I, I love, do too, I absolutely, it's a lot of work, it's a lot to of work. To look through the crap, to, to sift to through be, it. Yeah, to yeah. sift through crap, and it it's is. like, if I can take Nothing. these songs and, and just like, steal from you, then. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thanks for doing the work. I love this. <laughs> oh, I could I could hook you up more, dude. I have a last set unpaid set shows every song I've listened to for the past two years. Oh shit. So you can see my charts and everything. Like when yeah. I was listening to songs and albums and artists. You know what I last FM is? Oh no, I ha I have. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go on there and listen to the name's Lover Goat. I think I'm gonna do the sound for my TV though. My TV sounds nice. Dude, I, I'm super entertainment video games and stuff. Not to like a degrading, like weird degree oops. But this rotates and stuff. What, what are you saying? Nice. About, what are you saying about? Oh, I'm just saying I'm gonna do the sound sound through the TV. Also, yeah. my girlfriend gave me this. Wow. She's like, like that's. I I I that thought this like was like. Yeah, I know. That's something you'd buy. Yep. So and she does art. Huh? Yeah, no, she loves it. She loves it. Did she do that too, or is that you? Uh, she did that. Okay, wow. Cool. Which that is kind of... She loves it's, decorating it's the, her hall and just... The sky. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. Like, very. she did all the sky first. Yeah. And then black good. over it. I don't have the patience to do a lot of the cool things that I've seen in art. So I, oh, yeah. I kind of just found my own methods along the way to kind of speed the process. Like, cheating. It's not cheating, but it's just like I found my own weird ways to do things. Like, to, 
I'm not going to show you, so what I do when I paint myself is paint a black outline, I fill in with black, and then I paint the skin tone over top of it, and instead of shading with different colors of skin tone, I would just um, kind of strategically, strategically paint, and then the brush would get thinner with the paint, and that would be like the darker parts. Yeah. So that's how it goes. So what I was going to see would be like black and I didn't have to figure out different colors and just use one color. Yeah. That's one thing is that I found is I always like emphasize um, very like traditional style, traditional paint. Like I can mix colors like all day. Like I know the colors by like, like, like as far as traditional paint goes, like I don't have a lot. Like you saw a lot of my art, and that's not really. Um, I don't, I don't think I have my potential down in it. Because you said you oh, had a Yes. Like, um, a lot of that, I think, was practice. As far as um, dexterity and technique. Technique. So, I feel that way about a lot of my music and stuff, too. Where it was just like it was all preparation for something greater than I know actually got yeah. the I feel that, too. I feel that too with like a lot of things, which is like, honestly, like I feel it as a very like frustrating yeah. thing. Like I almost kind of, I kind of own that at this point though, where I'm just, where I just don't want to try my hardest because then I judge myself. So I do like just shitting that, things out why, left and right. Dude, and just, I've literally done things like that and mm -hmm. burned it. <laughs> Burn. Oh, I've never destroyed anything. Oh, I've destroyed a lot. Like, I don't have a lot of my stuff anymore. That's a shame. Even because I've either been like, take it. Like, if yeah. you really like this, well, take different. it. Yeah. And then also, if like, I was like, this is not what I want to be represented as. And I want to destroy. Yeah, I understand that when it comes to representing your identity. Yeah. But... Yeah, I have a lot to say about that kind of stuff in my book and just why I chose hey, the improvisation. Turn the volume to 100%. Have to pee. Have to pee pee in the picture. <laughs> this plan too um, that I want to mention to you yeah um, which is basically I'm gonna plan um, certain which I'm not ex it, like stupidly known for but in kind of like a key player all times they happen but I'm gonna plan social things yeah start planning like, like events at your house magic or? night yeah or, dude i and was writing stuff like down just this morning and last night about events i want to start hosting yes. in the area through like meetups or facebook and yes. start trying to bring out people of like mind so is that kind of what you mean yes but not so much more like, like people you already know yes okay yeah but just um, friends that you've kind of lost touch with because of your work schedule or kind of some yes very much yeah. very much so so it's a way of me keeping up with them, yeah. like to that certain degree, but it's also a way of you being there and yeah. me introducing you that would be into the some best very thing ever. into some very close 
I know are honest, nice people, friends of mine. That would be amazing. So you can meet them and kind of be, um, do the the extra, like, try to be more extroverted thing. Definitely, yeah. But outside of, like, iron and nail random people at the bar that are kind of dumb and loud and shit like that. What do you like mean? Just, 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 um, just being more, um... You mean like we are now? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, being... Yeah. But being also more comfortable and like you know how like Iron Ale gets so loud and yeah. so like Yeah. And you draining, it's just draining and you can't get a lot from it. Like, yeah. you know, it's not really beneficial things going on, it's just loud and people want to eat and yell yeah. about sports and drink. But more of a It's just like about reformatting myself to be able to tolerate the world environment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if anything a little like shock to the system and stuff like that. Well, it's just like jumping straight into the deep end and everything after that is, Yeah. you know, it's just easy. But, but I think um, I could do a really cool thing with bringing in a lot of like really nice, smart, cool, yeah. hard Man, fucking that would be people. And how then big maybe, of a get together are we talking? I'm talking like, not, not a house party or anything. Okay. I'm talking like, Eight close friends. Okay, that's perfect. But where conversation yeah. is always key, and we're all smart, and we're conversation, all even very even games like Magic or D and D would be great because that then we're getting closer magic. and more familiar with each other without having to try. And very much so is magic because I have like a, most yeah. of my friends like we all started doing it and we all got addicted to it because it brought us it brought us all close together. For the social aspect. How are you yeah. building, building your decks? Like talking about at work talking about like oh wait what deck are you running this week like oh i made a red oh what like what kind of red yeah like oh i did this oh i did this like very but also it brings you like it brings a certain like understanding there's so much personality that's put there's into the deck and the playing style that's why i'm not sure if i'm super comfortable being green I might switch to a blue really straight blue yeah. straight blue huh i'm blue black all the way I wanted to like blue, black, white, but I don't think I'm ready for a three. I have so many cards that aren't in that binder mm-hmm. that are blue and black, and okay. probably blue I'm and black. I'm good. Looking through those then. You, well, really, what I would like to do is like get us like set up on decks and be the monsters of Magic Night. Like these guys are yeah. like just. Monsters like when, when they when they walk like, into the door, we're just like, oh, are you ready to take us all the way to the bosses? <laughs> oh, red deck. Did you know my shirt, by the way? But yeah, the, uh, <laughs> Team Rocket. Yeah, <laughs> so I forgot I was wearing that. Oh man, like, I had a sketch in one of my. I was looking at it the other day, and I was like at a Charmander sketch, and I was like, it was while I was playing Pokemon Go. I don't yeah. even have my keys for my car. Oh wow, that would be really fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this. I've got this is guy that got me into magic. Wait. He bought me this knife for Christmas. Who did it? Um, The guy that got me into magic. His name's... He used to live with... Oh, Benjamin we talked about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guy. <laughs> but it's such a weird looking knife. Like, is look it? Because the anchor? Is it's, that as far as it goes? It's such like almost, oh. a, almost a butter knife type, type shit. It looks like a, not a machete, but, but like a halberd or something. Yeah, it came with this like little hook on it, so it was like... Mm. And also, it was a nice, so I was like, well, if I have a few down, anyone ever tries to rob me, I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a, it is a pretty cool party, so, like, I and I love, like, even the, um, being, like, the back of that team was, like, 412. Because I've never seen anyone on any other, like, when I go outside, I've never Bitch. seen anyone. Yeah. Except for like a couple times. On the back or the front? Yeah, yeah the back. Right. When I go out to the balcony, because I used to smoke, I didn't go out there to smoke. I really don't smoke anymore. Um, you mean like, like pot? No, okay. I, I don't smoke pot anymore. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of got out of that. Yeah, that's in your mind's best interest. Yeah. As, as, well, as far as, like, uh, you know. What do you mean because, us? Well, I, as far as how we are, because I do have friends that kind of like do that yeah but i almost see it now is like oh you really haven't figured out things yet and you kind of need it it's like a starter pack or yes. it's, it's like training wheels it's like you've been taking your training wheels off your brain but people, wheels. people that, <laughs> that that do that just to like 
that do it every day. They're still, like stuck that in it like, forever, and it's kind of like sad. Forty, and I'm just yeah. like, that's re- well. First of all, I'm like, it's like living with your parents, kind yeah. of, but it's the mental equivalent. But also, I'm like, that's really expensive. Like, if yeah. you want to like, and they never have a great job. I mean, they can't with that kind of habit. No. So it's there's just a sad combo pack. I mean, it just usually accompanies a lot of sadness I don't know if I'm find, yeah, and I know it yeah, does. sadness and failures and just not well, being able to cope with everyday events. Whoa. Oh, I oh, I didn't. No, I didn't. I so My things. phone has a... Do you have it? Yeah. Right. It's a big poster. Yeah. It's not all of them. Okay. I think your cards are back here? No. I don't think I don't know. What's that green box? What is this? Oh, that's just normal cards. What if they're in there? Oh, I used oh, to play man. Texas Hold'em all the time. Poker? Yeah. I used to play on an online site. I uh, forget what it was. Tilt? I don't think that's what it was. It was back in 2008, and I would just drink and play uh, Texas Hold'em online. Yeah. It was really fun. I got really good at that, too. I played I played online poker and stuff too, yeah. like a lot. I think um, it was one of those sites where you can like actually bet real money and yeah. Oh man, I have so much shit in here. Shit, as in good stuff that you wish you didn't just have lying in a trunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think. It's Do you want me to hold the light for you while you dig? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be kind of hot. Sometimes. Yeah, you're right. I should have brought I'll my phone in. out with the camera, so the light. Oh, I have my, I have my. Okay, that would. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> oh, I can still hold it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so much better. Oh, it would totally be like in there. I see a Pokemon card. What? Oh, it's a giant mug, beer mug. Yeah, it is. Never used it, but I thought it was cool because it's gigantic. N64 cartridges. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Nice. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Star Wars, Episode Dark one. Souls <laughs> book, Banksy book. The Banksy artist? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just can't see me. Oh, my chest clock. Mm, nice. Finding good stuff here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It's just stupid. <laughs> like I still have all this shit in my car. Like I've never unpacked. I have a fucking djembe. Dude, I have a djembe. That's no, actually, no wait. I think mine's a. Yeah, it's a djembe. But this is cooler. I think that's a darbuka. Really? I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, nice. it's the Magic the Gathering. Yeah, it's the board, board game. game. Oh, I have Stratego too. I didn't even I've know that. I've never played Stratego. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's like a strategy. Yeah. Ah, I knew oh, it. Oh, there you go. That's got to be it. Yep. I knew I probably would have been like, no, I need to keep track of these while I'm moving. I need to put them. I'm going to take off this. I'm going to bring Stratego, but I'll leave it's, it. It's Star Wars Stratego? Yeah. Awesome. Um, I don't know about it. I don't remember ever buying it. I adopted it from someone else's house. You come for drinking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I could picture that you're just gonna be like, I want Stratego. <laughs> I want Star Wars. <laughs> like, I, the I, light's still on. I don't being know. Being obsessed about it. That's, like, a, that's that's cool. What is that from? Oh, I don't know. So it's what gotta be. Mean? So it's gotta be it. Yeah. Poster. Oh man, and that's um. Oh, this is all smashed. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Looks like it got like rained on, then smashed and warped. I hate when coasters get warped. I have a bunch of myself. I think I could still flatten it though. Mm -hmm. Here, like steam it. Just hold, just hold this side. Mm. This is his art, and it deals with his. But at least it's like vinyl. Wow. It's his, comic, it's his comic book art, and all of it, every page looks like this. Trippy and as hell. And it's a graphic novel. It is so vibrant. Wow. Yeah. So you can kind of see, like, and it's final, so you can even kind of, like, put, like, all the characters in it. Like, this guy has a set of eyes and a set of eyes, and his other eyes have a visor. Um, the group of people all wear purple cloaks. So you read the book? Gold stars, yes. Um, even the people writing... Does he sell his book? Yes. Kind nice. of. Kind of. Does he have a website or just like a... Um... He has a website. Um, this whole thing, like, he did with the animation. Like, with the okay. pictures yeah, and going through... Yeah, like the through, flash like, animation kind of thing. It's right? all... It's all, um... It's all voice acted. By and him? then it... No, by all types of his friends and everything. Wow. And then it's all, um... I did the music for a lot of them. Wow, with the soundtrack? And, and, yep, with soundtrack, everything like that. Dude, is this... Yes, this is... I know, <laughs> I know he's talented. He, he has I his hands in so many I, different mediums. I texted him, something. yeah, I, I texted him and have, had him text me back today, mm. and it was the wrong number. <laughs> what? I was like, I was like, hey, it's Dan. He was like, Dan? I was like, yeah, like... And he was like, uh... And I was like, dude, you, how, how's Florida? Like, like you moved, but like, how is it there? Howard's moves in, lives in Florida? Moved Florida? Oh, I thought he lived in New Year. He did. When did Florida. you find out he moved? I remember um, seeing on Facebook that he moved like pretty recently. Damn. But I was thinking with him, like it could be... An online collaboration? Yeah. Yeah. Which would still be... It'd have to be. <laughs> pretty better, but still be unofficial. Yeah. I mean, that's all computer stuff anyway. And so. very... Very into um, mysticism and whatever that is for us, you know. Yeah, but it seems he, like someone likes he alchemy. Gave, he gave me this like a while ago, and it's nice, man. It sucks I haven't taken care of it. Oh man, yeah, chess box though. I got used to playing like time chess. Mm. And like killing him. Like Really? Yeah. Hmm. Wanna get back to talking? Yeah. I like the idea of the event thing you're talking about though. I'm gonna be that evil genius stuff. Cat stroker. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you'd let me take some of this and look through it and bring it back one of these days. Yeah. Because um, I don't know if you want to look through it like tonight or tomorrow or just because if you're not going to look through it in the next few days, then I could like uh, just look through it and pick some out. Uh, I'd, I'd tell you anything that I picked out. And oh, just yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, totally. And then Honestly. that'd be cool. I mean, like this is a very convenient little carrying thing here. Yeah. You you um you totally could. Okay. Cool. If you find a um a deck with a ton of elves in it that are all green, I'm just looking like, yeah, at. That's, that's what I'm looking you for. You had a nice elf deck. But it's in a box somewhere. It's in a specific box. And I don't know what I would have done with it. Hmm. It's burning me out. No um. But. You could take all that, and a lot of it is organized, okay. reds and blues, whites and blacks, and then it's everything else is kind of random all over the place. Okay. Because I kind of I could even organize it for you if you if you tell me what to do with it. Yeah, it kind of got out of control. Yeah. But obviously, land cards, mm -hmm. artifact cards, tokens, um. And then I kind of just did red, blue, green, black, like, just That's tried like to, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I just, I didn't know how to do it, and, like, 
if I was Ooh. building a, a red deck, I could easily be like, boom, yeah. red deck. Looks nice. Um, I, I do have a little bit of Eldrazi stuff. Mm -hmm. I have some very, very nice Eldrazi cards somewhere. There's a lot of those, yeah. Yeah. Pay one life, add blank to your mana pool. Mm -hmm. So you could literally build a black-white deck and use this card and be like, I pay ten life and then get ten life back and then boom, add blah, 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 mana pool and play in gaming cards. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. The fun thing about magic is like it's so creative. It is. That's what I'm like, saying. Because you look like at a card like that and you're like, oh, this, this other card would like be perfect with that. And That's why just, I hate the idea that most people just go online and look up these pre-made deck ideas and yeah. they just make it based off of what's popular. And that sucks. I'm not doing any of that. Like I didn't have any concept in my mind of what kinds of decks there were. So some people basically just said that my stuff is most closely resembles control without actually being a, a normal control deck. Mm -hmm. But, so, that's what I'm going off of. But I still don't, like, look up and see what that entails. Because yeah. I just want to play what I think feels right for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be limited by... But my deck by, is hey, really... You, buy, you can just buy a deck online and then, like... Is that really playing Magic? No. no. Like, I that's can just, just order a deck, a pre-made deck from all different seasons It's the auto-tune of the Magic world. Man. Man, Dan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's, we've, uh, there's so much power between those. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find my Mana Gorger card. It was like. Your what? It's called the Mana Gorger. Oh. It was a uh, fucking Be cool if it was Mana Gorger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, I'm picturing the, the manger scene. <laughs> and just being El Pazzi or something. Oh, just it. something eating the whole yeah. manger of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Man, okay, I was writing down little ideas of different things to do. I only have a few of them here, and part of them I've probably shown you like host meetups and events but um it'd be cool you know how there's like barcodes and different those qr codes and stuff and how you can like hide things inside them yeah that'd be so cool to just like hide barcodes or just stick them up all around town in bathroom stalls or in just like weird locations and then people are curious and they have to scan it to figure out what it is and um I also saw this one record label that's very unknown they only had like 50 viewers they had this really cool idea um, where they were having these highly limited tape releases and what they were doing is they were taking these like black metal tapes They were hiding it in the soil. They were digging up holes hiding it in the soil Then they would take an aerial view of the location and give hints and then people just go find a free tape It was like a highly cool limited too. thing and then they'd if, if someone found it then they'd you know be like this one's been found You know, and I, I just thought that was a really cool idea do little things that are really interactive, but also very curious to kind of get the whole town conspiring and just thinking, what's going on? People mm -hmm. second guessing, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a cool thing, though. Do you like that? Yeah. There's so many things like that that I would just love to do. Nice. This is Dean's old metal band. You'll see that's the Comper Chico face because this actually started through Dean's bands. And so, you can see like where it says the themes. It's like hooliganism and, 
and um, like right over there. Oh, occultism and yeah, insanity. And then there's so yeah, there's the logo, and then there's the other logo. Um, so there's the wind, the wind plane full length. And so there was like the cover of the tape, and there's the those were the the songs and the. Cover yeah, it was the first song, and then it has all this fake information, and it has like a lineup. We've got Limbo, Figum, Ruffo, Scheisser, and Howler. It was all these. I had, oh, man, I just had this whole thing really put together. Yeah. And, um. Wait, let me see. And then the next album was Somnambulistics, which is like sleepwalking and weaponry put together. <laughs> I like that cover too, it's cool. Yeah, that is cool. And so, yeah, I just, I had actually several profiles because there was, it was a whole collective, um, the Bad Apple Gang. And um, there was like these different, it was all that chase scene music and just really mischief metal weird stuff. There was a few bands, Hoaxer, Mischief Night, and then like 10 other ones that were just like collaborations between members. And I'm thinking how funny that would be is if once we have Compa Chico's like a core Mm -hmm. uh, from core like go back and actually make those bands real or at least the main one mischief night and have like a real black metal band yeah. made of us and then no one has to know there was ever fake <laughs> that'd be so funny because that be that's where the Compa Chicos came from to begin with pretty much so it'd be pretty funny 